Question. I feel like I rely a lot on my books and notebooks. How long did it take you before you could remember independently and project confidence with your herbs? Okay, another great question. Another thing where there's tons of nuance and tons of different ways to think about it. Um, so I'm going to factor a, a few different approaches when I think about the answer to this question, both in terms of using herbs and um, teaching herbs. And to me, those things overlap because I always feel like if I'm working, if I'm teaching a class, you know, that's me teaching herbalism um, to a group of people. And if I am doing a consultation with someone individually, it's really still more of me teaching them about like why I would suggest certain herbs than me just saying like, you know, oh, use this one or use that one or use whatever. Um, so they're, they're, they're kind of similar or even kind of the same to me. Um, and we all have different learning styles, different presentation styles, different strengths, different predispositions for how we're com going to communicate what we know about plants. Um, and we don't want to think about, and I know it's really easy to do this. We don't want to think about like, oh, you know, like this person does it like that. And I think that that's so amazing and so profound. And so that's like what I should shoot for is my goal. Um, as an example, I can just go on and on and on about plants for hours with no notes. I just kind of like start talking, say a bunch of stuff. And then, you know, when I finish the, the rambling thought that I have, I just stop and think for, you know, a, a second. And then I say some more stuff that I know, or someone asks a question and I'm like, Ooh, I wasn't going to go there, but let's see what happens when I open my mouth and expound about that. And I'm a rambler. I can do that, but not everybody does that. I know some people who can, um, they remember studies, and they can say like, oh, in this study, you know, 46% of the blah, 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 using such and such did. I can't remember stuff like that at all. Um, I don't remember numbers out loud, you know, and that maybe you could, someone could say like, oh, you know, you don't remember the, the ranges for like test numbers of, of what would be normal or high or low. That's stuff that I always have to look up because for me, numbers don't stick in my head. I know people who know how to say out loud with all of the syllables, the full words of what DHA and EPA stand for. I could never do that. And I know people who, when they teach, they've got notes or they've got PowerPoints or they're following an outline and none of these different, um, teaching or interaction styles or consulting styles is better than another one. They're just different kinds of styles. It's sort of like if we were to think about music, you know, and be like, oh my gosh, I really love the way this person plays guitar or the way that this person sings. And we want to be able to do that, but maybe that's not the way that we play guitar or sing or drum or whatever. Um, and what we want to do is find what our strengths are and figure out how to do that. And so if you need to rely on your books and notebooks, and that helps you out because you can like reference stuff rather than just saying stuff and not being totally sure that it's right all the time. I'll admit to that. <laughs> um, I think most of it is. Um, that's, that's just totally fine. Like, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's a bunch of things that in my head, I just, I just know, and I can say, and then there's a bunch of things that even if I learn them every single year, I have to look them up every time I think about them. And that's totally normal. There's plants that, um, I might be doing a walk and someone says, what's that plant? And I look at it and it's not that I don't know what the plant is. I might be like, that's the plant that grows by my hose spigot in my backyard. I totally know what that plant is, but every year I forget the name of that plant and I have to look it up and I'm like, Oh, is that plant? So like, sometimes we know stuff, but you know, we just don't know it off the top of our head. Notes are good for that. Um, why might people have to keep looking stuff up though? There might be more to answer this question. Um, I think that some people, it's hard to keep stuff in their head because they're learning so much stuff all at once. And that would be hard for me. I've learned, um, 
about herbs and about using herbs for people, and I guess ferrets sometimes too, um, slowly and organically over a really long time. And I know that there's a lot of people who I love and respect and think super highly of that, you know, offer these two or three year clinical herbalism programs or apprenticeships and people go through them and they learn and they retain a ton of information and they get out of it and they're like solid. And, and for me, I think that that would actually be, be hard. I, I don't think like my skill set is learning a bunch of information all at once like that and, and holding on to it and putting it together. Like I like, learn something and I go off and I explore it. And then I, you know, when I feel like I've got that solid, I move on to the next thing and everything's really been kind of on my schedule. And again, that's been over the course of decades. And there's still areas that I have holes in my knowledge of, or that I don't know really well, but that's okay because there's nothing wrong with me, you know, in a consult or in a class saying like, I don't know, I'd need to look that up. Cool thing about like the internet, (laughs) phones or laptops as you can be like, I don't know, let's look that up. Um, and also like, you know, I don't know the answer to that, but that would be a great question for so-and-so. So there is my answer to remembering things independently. Oh, projecting confidence by doing it over and over and over and over again. And you will have times where (laughs) <laughs> you do something, even after you think you're good at it. And like in a given situation, it's like, oh, wow, that totally didn't work. <laughs> I did not pull that off. Um, everybody has those experiences. That's normal.